Hey everybody, this is Chris from Katana, and in this video we're going to talk all about Katana's barcode scanning functionality. Barcodes enable you to track inventory more efficiently and accurately, as well as identify items quicker. In this video we'll discuss barcodes that Katana supports and how to set them up, along with the types of devices that you can use for scanning your barcodes. We'll also show you how to export your barcodes so that way you can upload them into label printing software to label your items in inventory. And lastly, we will do a purchase order workflow to show you how it works in real time. The barcodes feature is available on our Pro Package subscription plan. And in order to activate it, you'll head into your settings page, go to the barcodes menu, and there are three toggle switches to activate the specific types of barcodes you would like to use in your Katana account. We support supplier item codes, internal barcodes, and registered barcodes. The first one, supplier item codes, allows you to map a supplier specific barcode directly to an item in your inventory. This makes it easier to recognize it whenever you scan the item during the receipt of a purchase order against that item. If you have an item, for example, that is sourced from multiple suppliers, each supplier may use a very different barcode. And by creating multiple supplier specific barcodes for that item, it's a lot easier to recognize that item and identify it quicker when you're doing a receive process against a purchase order. Activating internal barcodes makes it possible for you to assign a unique barcode number directly to any item that you have inventory for. We support also barcodes for batches. A couple of use cases when you are starting to activate the use of internal barcodes. If you're new to barcoding and you don't have any inventory items that have been barcoded before, you can also generate barcodes automatically so that way the items in your Katana account will immediately be assigned a unique barcode. This will give you the option and the possibility to actually export your total list of barcodes for every single item. So you can upload that exported list directly into a barcode label and printing software. So it's possible for you to print and then put the barcodes directly on all of your items in inventory. So when you start doing some scanning operations for warehouse purposes, it'll be easy to uh, select them and do the different types of workflows required for your warehouse. For the time being, we're actually going to just go ahead and keep them turned off. But if your business is already working with some pre-existing barcodes and they're already assigned to many of your items, you can actually just import your barcodes into Katana with a spreadsheet and or via our API. If any of your products are sold internationally, uh, everywhere to some major retailers, you can also assign a uh, registered barcode. For example, if you have a global standards or a GS1 registered barcode for your products, this would be the location where you would add it for the items that you sell. Now that barcodes has been activated, we can head over to our items card to identify where this information is available. On our 9 volt alkaline battery item card, you'll see that we have these three fields, registered barcode, internal barcode, and supplier item code. Currently, they're all missing, but you can actually edit by manually entering the uh, barcode number directly into these fields, or using a scanner, you can scan them in while the field is activated in order to register it. Previously, we didn't have the automatic generation of internal barcodes turned on, but on every single item card, you can press this button and it will generate a unique internal barcode for that item. If you'd like to enter the data with a barcode scanning tool, Katana is compatible with almost any plug and play USB or Bluetooth device. We've tested it successfully with Zebra, Honeywell, and DataLogic brands, but almost any generic brand should do the trick. In order to add a supplier code to this item with a scanner, we'll need to highlight the supplier item code field. And with our battery, as well as our scanning tool, we can then take the item code, scan it, and it will automatically populate here into the supplier item code on the item card. So revisiting the idea of automatic barcode generation, the setting that we turned off on the settings page, if we were to reactivate it, for example, by uh, turning them on automatically like so, then it will assign internal barcodes to all of our products and materials. So once this has been made and it has done so for our existing items, inside of our item screen, you'll see the new internal barcodes generated for everything that exists for both our products and our materials. Additionally, on the stock page, this is the location where you'll be able to see all of the items lined up. 
And from this page, after you have generated barcodes for all of your items, you are able to then export them directly from an Excel spreadsheet or CSV. This enables you to take those barcodes and import them into software programs such as Bartender or even freeware like Avery in order to print them out into labels that you can put as stickers on all of your items in inventory. You can also export your barcodes from your batches here on the batch page where the barcodes, Excel spreadsheet, and CSV are also exportable. When working with batches, for example, receiving the barcodes on a purchase order and assigning batches to those items, you can also export the batches barcode spreadsheet directly from the PO. The same also applies for a manufacturing order. This allows you to immediately generate a label and stick it directly on those batch items in your inventory as well. Now that we've covered the basics of barcodes, we're gonna go ahead and put this all in motion and mark a purchase order as received. So to get started, we'll head to our buy section, which will give us an overview of all of our purchase orders awaiting to be received. And in order to activate scanning mode, we'll select the start scanning option here in the top right. Now the first item we're gonna receive is our AA battery pack. And we're gonna scan this barcode here. And our system, whenever the barcode is scanned, it will try to look for a match. If it doesn't find a match, and this is quite common if you have, let's say, an item that you source from multiple suppliers who each, at the end of the day, might have a different barcode on that item. This would be the case with our AA battery packs, which come from different brands. So we will go ahead and find the AA battery pack in our inventory list and actually map this barcode directly to it. And then it will try to find which of those POs are currently open that has this AA battery inside of it. So for our case, we'll go ahead and select purchase order number one to start receiving these items against. And in here, you'll see that this actually did already have a supplier item code, but the one that's highlighted in yellow is the new one that we've just assigned to the AA battery pack. That way we can identify multiple barcodes that are coming from different suppliers. So now that we've got one unit being marked as received, there are no more left to receive. We can select control B to reactivate the scanner. And the second item we're going to scan this time around is our AAA battery pack. And we'll go ahead and scan it in. And what I wanna show you about the AAA battery pack is you'll see that there actually are a total of three pieces that we're receiving. And since we've scanned one, there are two more to go. So you can actually do this multiple times to up the count. And now we have our quantity left of zero and our total to receive as three. So reactivating the barcode scanner once more with control B. The last item we're gonna mark as received is our nine volt battery pack. Now the nine volt battery pack is one of the items that we have in our inventory, which is batch trackable. So when we scan this, we're actually going to be marking um, one as received and we need to either assign an existing batch or create a new batch for this item. So in this case, what we'll actually do is we'll create a new batch. We'll call this one 0281. And once we create the new batch for this item, it will automatically generate a batch barcode when this is made. So now that new batch barcode has been made. This is a unique barcode that you can download, upload to a label printer, immediately attach it directly to your item so it could be easily traceable when it's being used in production later on. And that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and go forward from there. And you select this export barcodes option at the very moment you mark this PO as received. And this will download a spreadsheet for you that you can use to upload into your label printing software. And that's how you mark a PO as received using our barcode scanning feature. That wraps it up for our barcode video. We certainly hope that this gives you some overview and insight how you can use barcodes to help track your items in inventory, as well as identify items quicker when you're doing different types of workflows. Well, that's just the beginning for our barcodes functionality. Keep an eye out for new and exciting stuff that's on the horizon, such as consuming and counting material in batches with barcodes, smart device barcode scanning with our shop floor level app, pick lists, shipping, cycle counts, and many, many more. If you haven't already, please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for new and exciting content from Katana Smart Manufacturing Software. Software. Let us know down in the comments below, how would you use barcode scanning in your business? If you have any additional questions about this workflow, you're more than welcome to reach out to us at support at katanamrp.com. That's it for me for now. Until next time, happy manufacturing.